Hey guys, this is the Chaos Gaming Mate, back for more Mega Man X. And, you know, in the last part we did stuff with the Armored Armadillo. And in this part, we're gonna fight Spark Man, Joe, obviously. If you couldn't read... Alright, let's, let's just get moving here. Hi, hi, enemy. Ouch. My face. Or my, my blue eyes. Ah, uh, you didn't even get to do anything. Oh, Jesus! I hate that move, I hate that move, I hate that move. Yeah, I remember it from the beginning of the game. What was it? Uh, I want to say Central Highway is what it's called. But I don't know for sure. Oh, damn. There we go, yes! Moving, 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 moving. I don't really care about getting hit at the moment. There we go. Oh, hi, bird face. With a buzz on your fucking head, which is so weird. I don't know, whatever. Alright, mini boss. Pretty simple, actually. Man, I wish I could have moved. Get off of me, get off of me, get off of me. Just because I don't feel like dying, I'm gonna heal myself a bit. Oh, you suck. And fire. Oh, dude. This isn't. I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to be doing. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. He's gonna die soon, I, I know that. Oh yeah, he decided to come down and play, huh? They're dead, see? Now, you're gonna give me energy, right? That? See? I know him. He's like... My rival. Even though I whooped his ass and he's not really much of a rival because he only fight him once. Oh shit. That was intense! I need to be in intensive care for this. Why? Because I do. Alright. Oh god. I. I you know what? This is an easy way to take care of this. Please. And that was how. I really just don't care. <laughs> and plus, I don't use this. Like, ever. Like, just. Demolish this shit. Alright, now boost and jump at the same time to get that. Pretty simple, actually. Alright. And dead. Alright, let's move. I'm gonna go fight Spark Mandrill. Nice. Oh. Come on, get up there. Oh fucking Christ. Uh, see, I could have just died. And what for you to turn around? Oh nice, I killed one of those things. One of those things. They're so fast, like, I can't even actually see. I see their bright crescent ass thing. I don't know. Whatever. Time to fight Sparky. <clears throat> Alright, let's go fight Sparky. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but I did, so get over it. Sparky. He's all like, hurrah, hurrah. Alright, now what you have to do, or what you should use here is are the sting chameleon stings. Or chameleon stings. Whatever the hell it's called. Now, the easiest way to take care of them is stay on the opposite side of him. Or like, you see how he goes up there and tries to work his way over to you? Stay on the opposite side, and he'll go back up. Wait for him to get close, make him drop down again. Well, it might help if I actually shot in the right direction. And he's getting there, he's on his turn. I'm almost 
almost done too though, so shit. There. <laughs> that helped, right? Alright, let's see, what do you got? What do you got for me? What do you got? Huh, 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 what do you got? And dead. See, he takes so much time to up on the ceiling that it, it, it's perfect just for getting hits off because he can't attack while he's up there. So, basically, his own stage screwed him over. And he did, too. Like, there could have been so many times that he could have killed me, but no, he decided to jump right back up. So let's go fight Launch Octopus. Or go to Launch Octopus's stage. And, um, after I beat Launch Octopus, I'm gonna go through every stage that I've already done and get something, get everything I missed, like heart containers and all that, energy tanks, all that good stuff that we should really have in order to fight the final boss. You, I mean, you don't have to have them, but, like, it's, it's helpful. There, that's what I want. That's the word I wanted. Helpful. <laughs> I don't know, this stage just looks cool. I, I always like the water levels and stuff. I don't know why. I just always have, always will, I guess. Get your ass moving! Mega Man! Oh shit. Boss, or mini boss, huh? Those guys suck you in, just dash away. Go for his upper part on his body. Uh, try to watch out for those. Um, what else? Actually, funny thing, in Mega Man X2, there is a little mini boss kind of fish thing that looks exactly like this. Like, I, I, I don't know, I want to know if it's like from this, like that's where they got the idea for it, but I don't know. And it's kind of like in Mega Man 9 and uh, other Mega Man, where there's one of these, then there's another one but a different color, and there's something weird with the stage, and it's like Mega Man 9, or Mega Man 10, I don't remember which one, but it had the elephants with, that are all the different colors, and yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about, I know you know what I'm talking about if you played Mega Man 9. Oh, nice, it was sucking us in, and we killed it. Give me that energy, dude. Alright, and you jump across here. Alright, these suck. Go away, fish face. I wanted to kill them because I like seeing them explode and I just hate these things. Alright, so let's move forward. I like to stay right over here. I don't care if I get hit right now. Yeah, can you stop? God, it was just sucking in and blowing out. Did you see that? It went sucking in to blowing out to sucking back in. I was getting so confused I couldn't fucking recover. Actually, uh, no, no, no. I was gonna say I'm gonna try the spark manual move. Fuck you. What are you doing? You never did this last time. Um, can you stop? What the fuck? It's not even attacking, it's just being annoying. It never did this before. Finally, you attack. Jesus. Now going right back to this. Fuck you. I'd like to be able to live. Just saying. Can you, like, stop? Thanks, bro. Don't even. Yeah, I was gonna say. Don't even start sucking any of that shit right now. Actually, the best way to do this is kind of stay in the middle. I don't know. It's there, dead. All right, give me this. Bling. All right, this. Just wait for it, and it'll make a little tornado thing for you to go up. 
And you can go up here and get more energy. I'm getting this for my um, energy tanks that I have. Alright, and then there's, uh, I don't know what this one's for, but it's kind of there. Alright, now this one you kind of want to do. Alright. Alright, you see that? You just attack that middle thing like crazy, okay? Don't even worry about getting hit or anything. Shoot it. And just go down with the ship, okay? Just literally go down with the ship. You won't get hurt by any of the spikes because this thing is taking them out. And we get down here to find. Stop that, don't jump. Alright, to find a mini boss. Basically, just shoot the shit out of this thing. Shoot, I said shoot the shit out of this thing. Watch out for that. It, it's it's head and tail hurt you, obviously, because they have spikes. But look, just wrecking it. Well, I would like to wreck it. Oh my god, that was honestly kind of scary. Oh, really? You're not going to let me on? Fuck you. Oh, you're going to let me on. Never mind, I'm deeply sorry for having you kill me. Spikes, obviously. There we go. Alright, now let's just move for over here to get a heart container. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, buddy. Alright. Now just wall jump back up. It's underwater, so you're gonna get boosts. Right, it's over here. That's where we. No, that's not. Uh, uh, whatever. Alright. Oh, uh, uh, yes. And then before you can actually go on to the next area, or not area, but uh, heart, you have to fight another one of these. If you didn't fight the one to get the heart container, you obviously have to fight this one. But this one goes underground, so it's kind of um, more annoying. So just keep moving around because it's going to pop up right where you were standing. Oh my god. And if you try hitting its body, obviously, like you saw, it's going to fuck you over because the bullets just get fucked out. And then, once it goes down, it goes to the tail. Easy, 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 easy. Just look at that. Done. Boom. I like that part where it's just like its body just every single section of it just explodes when it hits ground. Oh nice. Alright. No, get the fuck off me, I'm right there. Alright, hold on. Isn't there some no, I guess there's not something up there. But uh Oh crap. <laughs> Funny thing actually, I'm at the wrong place. You're not supposed to use the man jewel spark here. Actually you're supposed to use if you use Boomer Kawangaroos... Uh, what the fuck is this thing? Um, okay. I mean, it's not impossible to, to defeat him, with because if you use Boomer Kawangaroos' weapon, it basically cuts off his forearms and he can't spawn those things. But, either way, it's really not that hard. As you can see, and you can't spawn those missiles, I don't think. Basically, actually, no, he does spawn the missiles. That's the only thing he can do. And he's, he's still easy. I mean, honestly, you just don't even worry about it. Unless you're fucking failing at this game like me, then I would worry about it. Don't copy everything I do if you're if you playing along, which I never had anybody do, but if you are, then just don't copy exactly what I'm doing. See, he's still done. I mean, it's kind of funny to see his arms get cut off, but I don't know. Maybe I'll show that in a bonus part, just me coming up to launch Octopus with Boomer Coin his weapon and cutting his arms off. But either way, we got a heart container here, and we got 
the homing torpedo. All right. Well, I'm going to end the part here, so I'll see you guys next time, and we're going to go get more part containers and other shit. Bye.